Hey, what's up everyone? It's Justin here and today I've got the unboxing and first look of the Oppo N3. So this is a pretty exciting unboxing here as it is the first Oppo product I have tried out. And for a long time, I've really admired the way Oppo has built and designed their products with the consumer always in mind. And trust me, there's a lot of things to cover in this unboxing as there are a lot of cool features that I haven't seen before on the Oppo N3. So to start out, the N3 has a 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080 resolution display, a motorized 16 megapixel Schneider lens camera, which by the way can rotate 260 degrees and also has dual LED flash. And the device is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 2.3 GHz quad core processor with 2 GB of RAM. It is also run by Color OS based on Android 4.4 and also has 32 GB of expandable storage inside. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing process. So just cut off the plastic here and let's check out what's included. So the first thing I noticed is that the packaging is extremely high quality and very well built. I know some people don't care about that, but the unboxing experience is always a nice plus. The shape reminds me of the HEC boxes and it does have a nice plastic shell protecting the phone during shipping. The first thing you're greeted with is the Oppo N3 itself and as you can see the design is very unique. But just setting that aside we will give you a closer look at that in a minute including the setup and just a quick hardware overview. But let's take a look at what else is included in the box. So lifting that off there is the VOOC charger which by the way can get you 75% of charge in just 30 minutes. And with just a 5 minute charge you can get 2 hours of calling, which is pretty impressive. So as you can see here, the charger itself is quite unique. Next up you do have a set of headphones and you can see they look quite high quality considering they are included with the smartphone with the nice tips and they seem to be quite well built as well. Additionally, another thing I haven't seen on any other smartphone is the O-Click, which allows you to control the rotation of the camera, release the shutter, and play music even when you're away from the device. And that is meant to be looped in a keychain and definitely a very cool feature that I can't wait to try out. Lastly, we just have some paperwork here and there is your micro USB VOOC cable, which does seem pretty long compared to what other smartphone manufacturers include. So I really can't wait to check out this phone for the first time. So let's just put all this stuff aside and boot this thing up. So the first thing I notice of the Oppo N3 is that the device feels really nice in the hand. I will give you a closer look at that, but it has a nice chamfered edge, which reminds me a lot of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. On the top, you will notice that it does have a nice big white space, but there is the microphone on one side, but the front facing camera is actually used through the back facing camera, if you get what I mean, which I will show you in a minute. And we got through that process pretty quick. So I did mention that the Oppo devices are running Color OS, and that is based on Android 4.4, and I haven't tried this before, so this is my first time playing around with Color OS. And I have to say, this display looks very good, by the way. I'm not exactly sure where the app drawer is, but just playing around with this, going through the notification tabs and seeing how that works. The operating system seems to be very smooth, and I'll definitely be talking more about that in the full review. Sorry about the glare here, by the way. But again, I just wanted to give you guys a quick feel for the operating system skin here and let's just jump right to the camera as I'm very excited to try that out. So like I mentioned, the Oppo N3 does have a 16 megapixel rear facing camera and it does not have a dedicated front facing camera. As you know, traditionally with smartphones, there is a rear facing camera and then a front facing camera, which isn't always great. But you know, people want to take their selfies nowadays, so Oppo decided to fix that problem and make the rear facing camera just as good as the front facing camera. And the way to do that is to have a rear facing camera that can flip over and work as a front facing camera, which is really cool. And the fact that it is electronically adjustable is pretty cool as well. You can also adjust the angle very easily. So I'm definitely going to have some fun with that and the O-ring and I'll definitely talk more about it in the full review. Giving you a better feel for the form factor, I have to say the 5.5 inch display is a great size. The smartphone in general doesn't feel too big and the display itself looks great. On the bottom of the Oppo N3, you will also notice there is a small gap between the metal frame and the bottom of the smartphone. And I was wondering what that was, but apparently it is the Skyline notification, which as we've seen in other Oppo devices looks very nice. On the back, there is a fingerprint sensor which allows you to store up to five fingerprints and I really like the texture actually. It reminds me a lot of the OnePlus One and the chamfered edges does add to the grip so you don't have to worry about your device slipping out of your hand. On top of all of the great well thought features that I've told you about of the Oppo M3, another one is that you can actually have the option to use one SIM card and one micro SD card as expansion or just have a main SIM and a backup SIM. So yes, this is a dual SIM device. 
But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and first look of a very unique smartphone, the Oppo N3, and I can't thank Oppo enough for setting this out for reviewing purposes, and I also have an unboxing and first look of the Oppo R5, which by the way is the world's thinnest smartphone coming up very soon. But other than that, stay tuned for the full review, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button as it helps the channel out a bunch, and I'll see you all in the next video.